So school may be out for the summer, but that does not mean the learning has to stop. Of course not. Our next guest is a former chemical engineer turned stay-at-home mom and blogger Tracy Borgmeyer from the blog SheLovesScience.com recently stopped by Houston Life to share the science behind some pretty cool magic tricks. All right, Tracy, we're glad you're back. Thank you for having me. So, so fun. And as a recap, for people who might not remember, you left your career, yeah. you are a stay-at-home mom now, but with I your am. science background, right. that is a great way to get the kids up and running, huh? Yeah, the kids love, if you give them permission to make a mess, they will just <laughs> go all out. And the kids, my kids love science, and most kids are just happy to just do something with mom or dad. It's just a lot of fun. So There's you your You can see my family. kiddos, yeah, touching the dry ice material, yeah. So, <laughs> so... What I found with kids, though, and especially with being a mom, is it's kind of awkward to be like, hey, kids, you want to try science? I usually do it when the little one's sleeping or when it's kind of a lull and you have those long afternoons. Um, so what I found, too, is that a lot of science is very magical. Like, it looks like magic. It looks like, but there's a lot of science behind it. And um, I stay at home, but I also write, write books about science. My kids, they've inspired me to do so much um, thinking about their reactions to it and thinking they need a hero to read about to do this stuff. So all of this comes into play when we um, uh, talk about our, our literature that we read, and they have now a science hero that we wrote about, Haley Harper, Science Girl Extraordinaire, and the book two is coming out July 24th, and it's all about science and magic. So you've got to check it out, and I've brought to, brought to you some things to show you that look magical but are very science-related. And we're going to start actually with the magic bag demo, right? Yes. The and the key effect. here, it's a <laughs> Ziploc bag filled with water, and you're very specific. You say use the actual Ziploc brand. Yes, yeah. So a lot of times you might want to do science and go to the dollar store, and that's that's good too. But I recommend doing the magic bag with a Ziploc for bag. This one. For don't, this one. Don't go cheap on the bag, or for you sure. might have a big wet. So this is great to do in the summertime because you can do it outside too. Okay. Because if you're not super confident about it, then you know, you can always start over again. So what you need is you need a plastic bag. I'm not super confident. <laughs> you need a plastic bag, a little bit halfway filled with water. Do you want to hold it while uh, I do this? Why don't I hold it while you do Okay. So the other this. key is you need, um, the best way to do it is with matte pencils that are rounded. Um, some pencils are the, you know, have the Sweet. sides yeah. to it. And make sure they're soft. But if you just take the bag, and of course it's polyethylene, so we're calling it magic, but I'll tell you the, the science behind it. But if you poke it through, oh. then oh. that's it. That's all you do. It's okay. But you have to be confident about it. Go for it. We're going to try and get all 10 of them in. Wow. I think I did 10. What? And it's not, not even a drop of the water. Oh, Ooh, maybe well, one drop or two. No, maybe. you're good. There we go. So, the, so, the mat, so this does look magical, right? But the whole science behind this is this is a polyethylene. It's a polymer. And polymers are a lot like spaghetti or worms. They're very, um, you know, oozy and, and long. So cool. And what it does, it, it'll, it'll um, seal itself around the pencil. And even though you're breaking breaking the surface, you are creating a seal with this polyethylene polymer. That is so cool. Yeah. Wait, so what do you do with the bag once it's all done? <laughs> well, that's your learning then tool, you, right? Then you let them take this, the pencils out, and it's amazing because then it just becomes this big water toy. This is so cool. I'm totally having a blast. I left you one, Derek. <laughs> okay, Here. do you want to hold the bag? Yep. Okay. <laughs> I thought you were going to shove it through like an arrow, like super fast. Okay. Here, last one. Go for it. Last one. This is kind of fun. There's something really that. satisfying about that it. That is so I neat, y'all. That is so cool. So magic, but it's science, right? Magic. So the kids can be like, is this science or magic? And you can say it's science. It's both. So that's the magic, it's both. So the magic bag. All right. I'm so gonna do this all night. Time. That's all about polymer chemistry. Chemistry is one of my it's my favorite um, science for sure. I'm glad we had that bowl there. Yeah, me too. Um, <laughs> so another great um, magic trick is to do what we call the coin drop trick. And the secret is is can you get the pennies into the vessel or the glass? Um, at one time. Can you get them all in the glass at one time? So we have a, a dollar bill, a penny, and the, the jar set up. So okay. you want to try getting it in at all the same well, time. Uh, try, what do I do? You got to pull the dollar bill. Just pull the dollar bill? Try and get it in. Okay, so by these are all the stacked up, They're right? They're stacked up. Stacked, stacked on top. So pull the dollar bill out and try and get you them all in. You want me to hold in. the vase? Do sure. I hold it? And okay. do I just... Try and get them all in. And do I just yank it? What do you think is going to happen first? Let's be scientific about this. What do you think will happen? So these pennies want to stay there, right? Unless you're pulling them or making, causing motion. Because an object at rest wants to stay at rest until you act on it. So now we're acting on it. Now you want to... Don't be nervous. Don't be nervous. You can do it. So I'm doing is we'll pulling the bill? Pull the bill. Okay, here Try we go. and get them all One, in. One, two, three, go. Okay. You did pretty oh. good. You did pretty good. But I the, got seven of them in. That's right. But so, so, so the magic of it is you're overcoming friction, right? 
So kids normally want to try and go really slow. I've had some, I've had some kids who, who've actually gone super duper slow and gotten them on it. But here's the little magic science to it. If you hold this out and do a little karate chop to it, hold it with your right hand, then karate chop with your left. Hold this dollar bill. I'll hold this with my right like this? Yeah. And there then karate, karate chop, chop it? Yeah. Love it. So, cool. the, so then you can explain to the kids that this is science. It's overcoming friction. So now we're uh, we're I upping. Just overcame friction. You did. Folks. You did. Now we're upping Ooh. the ante. Okay. okay. This one is this one can be a little bit nerve wracking. So, but same thing. So we're trying to have have a an egg. So this is a raw egg. Oh, great. This is the one I get to do. Yes. So a raw get, raw egg on top of the paper ta uh, toilet paper tube on top of a pie pan. Um, and we're gonna try and see. So if you go super fast, we'll see what happens, but if you go super slow, so you hypothesize about what do you think is gonna happen? How will I get the egg dropped into the, to the water without breaking it? What do you mean go super fast? Like, what are you doing? How, so what you did with the, with the dollar bill is how do we get this pie pan out of the way fast? Well, you have video now right. that we're looking at your kids and so they the did this at home. So the kids have tried this, and I won't, I won't say who, who cracked the egg, because I promised I wouldn't. Okay. But we tried this a few times, but the, the trick is, is you've gotta overcome friction. So do you just knock the... Just do it. You have to be confident. Oh! <laughs> Good job. Yes. Okay. So Don't we're, even we're think about it. We're magicians and we're scientists. So that's the great part of, of doing science with kids is... It's fun. It is fun, and I love it because it's all stuff that we have at home, right. and so cool. Yes, I love it. Tracy, Thank you it's so much. Great to see. And by the Thank way, we should me. point out uh, the books are available now, and SheLovesScience.com is it. the website people can visit if they want to. You can keep see up all of this you. on my website. I love it. Keep the blog Thank going. Thank you so it's much. Awesome. I will. Thank you. Great, and don't go away. We'll be right back.